uh, the Tri Performance Hip Series. Uh, we've been using this with a lot of our athletes as well as a lot of our clients. We've found for hockey players it works really great for uh, a lot of loosening up our hips and just making sure they're in working order. But it's been really great down to um, non-athletes as well, just your everyday nine to five worker, someone that carries on about their daily life, keeping the hips in order. So what we're gonna do, down on the ground, you want a little bit of space where you're not gonna hit anything because there is a little bit of sideways movement and shifting involved. But we're gonna go into our 90-90 position to start with. So that's setting yourself up. Your front leg is gonna come straight out in front of you and the lower part of your leg is gonna be at a 90 degree angle. So your knee here is 90 degrees. And we're gonna to aim to have the same here out the back, okay? So straight out to the side, 90 degree bend going down. What we're gonna do the first step is we're gonna take the middle of our chest down towards the knee, okay? You can have your hands on the ground to help you control you down and you wanna work up to being able to not use your hands as much as possible. So we're gonna go here, down, 10 times. Ten. Probably went through that a little bit fast. Make sure you do it a bit slower, but we'll keep this video nice and short. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our back leg. And we're gonna leave the foot on the ground, and we're gonna lift this knee up 10 times. Okay, try to obviously keep your upper body nice and still so we're not rocking over to get it up. Keep it nice and upright and still. Just imagine I've done 10. And then we're gonna take the middle of our chest to the middle of our Now, I like to put my hand on my foot um, to help pull, pull myself in down to the middle of uh, my middle of my chest, down the middle of my shin. So let's imagine I've done that 10 times. We're gonna go back to the back leg. This time we're gonna leave the knee on the ground and we are gonna lift the foot. So you're gonna potentially lean a little bit forward to give yourself the angle and you're gonna rotate and lift it up as high as you can. Now, it's not gonna lift very high. And this might be the stage where you get a bit of a cramp in your hip here. If that's the case, just fall to your side, straighten the leg, you know, give it a bit of a rub, wait until it dissipates, and then come back and continue on, okay? So imagine you've lifted that 10 times. We're gonna go back to the front leg. Now we're gonna go middle of our chest, to our foot. Here is where I generally like to place my other hand on my knee or even my elbow, both hands here and really pull myself down in this direction. It's the most difficult direction for us to go. Um, so pulling yourself down, as I said, middle of chest to the foot 10 times. After that, heading back to the back leg, we are gonna lift both the knee and the foot 10 times. So leaning there and you're trying to lift, a little bit of a hold, keeping it nice and controlled, not trying to rock the upper body and move it, stay very nice and still. Again, remember, if you get a cramp, fall to the side, let it go, come back, okay, carry on. Now we're getting towards where it gets even more difficult. We're now gonna take, keep our shoulders nice and square and we're gonna take our shoulder down towards the back knee. So these ones I call our head bobs because they are very difficult and they don't move quite a lot. But when we do it, what I'm trying to do is push my back butt cheek, so my left butt cheek at this side, um, down onto the ground and then lift it up and really get a bit of a sideways bend going down. Once we've done that 10 times, we start to make our figure fours. Now our figure fours go a little like this. We're gonna lift the back leg, so that's bringing in part of what we've done before. Lift the back leg, bring it around, sit here in front, and now, as you can say, see, I've made the number four with my legs. Okay, I sit up nice and upright, and I take it back, sit nice and upright again. And I'm gonna continue that for 10 times. After that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this front foot so heel touches knee, we're gonna swivel a little bit this way so you guys can see it easier. And we're gonna go into our windshield wipers. And what we wanna do is we wanna do 21 of these 
so that we are facing the other way. So we swivel across, sit up, and we're getting our internal and external rotation. Okay? So imagine, boom, that's number 21. I should be facing this direction. So sitting opposite, swivel around. We're gonna take foot apart, and we're gonna repeat all of those steps that we did on the other side. So middle of chest to knee, lift the knee. Middle of chest to shin, lift the foot. Middle of chest to foot, lift the whole leg. Shoulder sideways, figure four, and then we're back to the end. Now instead of doing windshield wipers this time, what we are gonna do, let me swivel so I can stay in shot, Foot goes here, and now we're gonna do our hip squares. And we're just gonna do 10 of these. So this is where we swivel to the side, and we sit up and push forward. Back down, swivel to the side, sit up, and we're gonna do 10 of those. So that is our tri-performance hip series. Give it a go, shoot a video, pop it on through to us, and let's compare how you go. All right, be safe.